Hello and welcome to Talking FC and welcome back here to the channel guys to a news roundup coming up for you today and it's quite a special instalment of the news roundup today simply because we are going to be discussing Messi, then Suarez and then Neymar. Today is an episode with MSN. Are they all together on the same team? No they're not but we do have some news for you coming up today. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right to it. And if we start here with the M, of course, which is none other than Lionel Messi, and I want to kick right off in this video with some fantastic news for you guys regarding the fitness here and the recovery of Lionel Messi. Because yesterday, of course, in the news roundup, we spoke about Messi, who was stepping up that recovery. He was working with the ball. He was looking good. And of course, he was on the verge there of returning to training with the rest of the group. And of course, about 45 minutes after my video had released, he returned to training with the full group. In Yesterday evening's training session, Messi was back there with the full team, and interestingly, they were actually training yesterday in their full kits, not just the training kits, they were in their full match day kits there. Barcelona players and Messi was back there with a huge smile on his face, working with the team back in full training, and that's what we wanted to see. That's what you've got to do to put yourself in contention to play on the weekend. Messi had to return soon. He did that yesterday, he's back in the fold, and he is ready to go, because Barcelona actually posted a few clips there of the training session, and like I say, Messi was out there, big smile on his face, and he looked good. He looked really, really motivated, determined there, and he was so happy to be back with the group, be back with the ball. He scored some brilliant goals. There was some nice touches, some nice dribbles. There was also a few nice moments as well. Ansu Fati, the young player, of course, was in first team training yesterday. He was given the chance there to train with the first team. A big step up for him, and Messi went over, gave him a handshake. I think he said one or two words to him, and that's what it's all about. Messi there, being in there, being around the players, that's what you want. And Messi also had a good laugh as well with Frankie de Jong, they exchanged some sort of joke there out on the training field, and he looked in really, really good spirits. And it's great to see him back out there, now that you know he's going to be ready for Sunday's game at the Camp Nou against Real Betis. But the big question in today's round, the big question for you guys is, what do you do? If you're the coach of FC Barcelona, you've got all the power right now, what do you do with Messi come Sunday in our first home game of the new season? Do you start Messi? Do you start him there against Betis? Or do you introduce him from the bench in that game and it's very very difficult here what we're going to do with Messi because of course you know that you're going to be itching to get back out there Messi being Messi is going to want to play no doubt about that and also we need him as well we need him we're not good without him we saw that last weekend we need Messi back in the fold but is he ready to start the game he's back in full training by Sunday he's going to have a few more sessions under his belt as well the only thing holding us back of course right now is just the fact that we have to remember Messi hasn't featured for a single minute in pre-season no matches of course was Messi involved in because of that calf injury he hasn't played in a competitive game since Copa America so we do have to be careful there with the fact that Messi hasn't played in pre-season that certainly is an issue but he is somebody who's going to be determined to get back out there he's going to listen to his body he's going to be guided by how he feels Valverde and him are going to sit down for a good chat I'm sure before that game but what would you do Messi from the start or Messi from the bench but either way on Sunday he should be involved and that in itself that's something to celebrate. And now, of course, though, I do want to come on to the S, which is Luis Suarez in the MSN trio. And I want to talk here about a very intriguing rumour that came out yesterday surrounding Luis Suarez and surrounding his future in the long term at Barcelona. Because I want to talk here about a rumour linking Suarez with a sensational move to the United States with newly formed team into Miami, owned, of course, by David Beckham. And it's a very, very interesting rumour here, which broke in the Spanish media from Munda Deportivo, who often are quite close to the club and they came out and said basically that next year in 2020 into Miami are going to begin life there in Major League Soccer and David Beckham there the owner has reportedly outlined Luis Suarez as his big marquee signing somebody there to kick off into Miami with a really really big statement Suarez of course could bring that no doubt about that Suarez to the MLS would be huge huge news and David Beckham wants Suarez to be on his side and according to MD who broke the story like I say they went on to say that Suarez is keen on the idea at some stage of going out there playing stateside he would be happy to accept their a role in Major League Soccer and potentially under David Beckham adding to Miami and it's very very interesting here because Rack One also came out today they said that Suarez in the short term is not interested he's not leaving Barcelona not this summer maybe even next summer there's still doubts but right now it's all up in the air we don't know what the future holds for Suarez he may end up going to the MLS he may go somewhere else potentially there's been talks before about him going 
going back to Ajax at some stage towards the end of his career. We don't know what the future holds for Suarez. Right now and this summer, he's staying at Barcelona. That is confirmed. He's not leaving this summer, despite what you may hear. But beyond that, 2020, as he turns 33 in January, we don't know what the future holds for Suarez. And Beckham reportedly wants him. And that for you guys, I know many of you here following from the United States, that would be a huge, huge move for MLS. And very exciting too. But will Suarez go there? And will Barcelona want to let him go next summer? Let's wait and see what happens. Short term, not going to happen. But long term, let's wait and see. And of course, the all-important N in MSN surrounds Neymar Jr. And I want to come out here and confirm some things that we've heard over the past 24 hours or so with regard to Neymar and Barcelona. And first of all, I want to address a big, big rumour that came out last night from the big French outlet L'Equipe, who emerged with a huge story on their cover it was this morning. And they reported a bid made by Real Madrid for Neymar Jr. L'Equipe here claimed that Real offered 100 million euros in cash as an outright sum, along with Hamas Rodriguez, Gareth Bale, and Kayla Navas in exchange there for Neymar Jr. So 100 million, Hamez, Bale, Navas, three players in exchange too, and I keep going to say, PSG rejected that bid. They keep say there that Real made that bid, it's gone in, and PSG have said no. And that's basically made the Spanish media, especially those in Barcelona, basically sit up and say, look, if PSG are rejecting that kind of bid from Real Madrid, Barcelona, they've got no chance. With what we can offer this summer, with the situation that we we're in. If they're rejecting that kind of offer, we simply do not have the funds to sign Neymar, and it is not going to happen. But, as always with this, there's a lot of different angles, and that's what I want to do this news. Of course, it can get repetitive. Of course, the Neymar saga has dragged on and on and on, but when you hear these reports, there's so many different sides of it, and that's what I want to just clarify exactly what we're reading, exactly what we're hearing right now with regard to Neymar, because that report there from Lakeep, they believe right now, with regard to the Neymar situation, that may not have happened. Real Madrid may not have made any sense single bid there for Neymar, and it could actually be an invention from Paris Saint-Germain themselves. It could have been fabricated there by PSG to make it look like Neymar is in demand, to put pressure on Barcelona to up that bid, to put their bids in, to make them higher, to add more money, to give PSG potentially what they want, and they're leaking things here to the media to make it seem as though Neymar could go somewhere else. PSG are very much in a position, they may be able to do that, and that's just one angle there to bring you on that kind of story. But I also want to say here, that Barcelona simply do not have the money. That's the feeling right now in the Spanish media that Barca cannot afford Neymar this summer. We don't have the cash right now. We simply do not have it. After signing Griezmann, we've been very, very limited in what we can offer this summer. And even next summer, there's talk here about a mandatory buy option, something there will get Neymar on loan. Then next summer, of course, we'll buy him outright. But even right now, Barca seem very, very reluctant to actually do a deal where they have to pay that sum in the next year. They want to try and get it so that it's the next two years. We don't even want to guarantee that we can pay it next year. And that right now is a real indication of where we're at financially. We don't have the money. We may not even have the money next summer. And it's a big, big task right now to get Neymar back to Barca. But as always, just like yesterday, I want to finish here on a bit of a bombshell of sorts. And just so that I can say in a minute, and on that bombshell, I'm going to leave you here with a tweet from Augusti Benedito, the man, of course, who ran the motion of no confidence against Bartomeu. And of course, the man who's previously actively wanted to be become the president of Barcelona, because on the 2nd of August, Benedito here tweeted, Neymar in, Coutinho out, all in. That was their prediction or an insight, whatever you want to call it. Benedito there talking about something which could happen in the coming weeks. Now, as we know, Coutinho has gone. He's gone to Bayern Munich. He is out, like Benedito said. But also, with the Neymar in, he's followed that up today. Today, he's quoted that tweet and he said, getting closer. What does that mean? Benedito, what does that mean? What do you make of that, guys? Because I just think right now, Benedito, he's not part of the board. He doesn't really see eye to eye with Bartomeu. Does he really know anything that's going on inside the club at boardroom level? I don't know. I really don't know here. And again, there could be angles to this. He might be saying something there to inadvertently put pressure on the board. If they don't get Neymar now, it looks like a letdown. There's so many different people here who are thinking to themselves, perhaps maybe they're trying to run different agendas, different narratives. But Benedito there, he's put a tweet out, he said that Neymar would be coming in, and now he says, getting closer. Make of that what you will, and on that bombshell, 
it is time to end today's news roundup. Thank you as always guys for getting involved. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you of course for your incredible support. Please do let me know there what you would do with Messi. Would you start him? Would you have him on the bench against Real Betis? Also please let me know what you think on the Suarez situation. Of course he's staying right now this summer. But come next summer should he be looking at a move to MLS? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course Neymar. Tell me your thoughts. I'll be here soon. The preview for Real Betis is just around the corner. The next weekend of La Liga football is approaching. We've got to get it right. But Messi is likely to be there to help us out. I'll see you soon, guys. But until next time, as always, Visca El Barça. Oh.